And we are live. Welcome for this weekly live stream on the latest and greatest news in Ethereum and DeFi. I do this every Monday at 11 p.m. UTC plus 8, even though recently I've been more and more late. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> so if you don't know me, I'm Julian, your host, and on the blogs, I teach blockchain development. And so quickly, before we jump into the news of crypto, so two things. So first of all, tomorrow at 11 p.m. Uh, UTC plus 8, I will be doing a, another live training, so a, a private live training to create your own token on the Binance Smart Chain and we will fork SafeMoon. So if you want to book your seat, you can go to the website of it, the blocks and book your seat if you cannot make it for tomorrow. If you purchase your seat, you will still be able to access the recording. And actually, we are going to start to do this regularly. And so the week after that, in one week, we already have the next live training, which is scheduled. And it's going to be a live training on developing apps on Polygon. Polygon, which is the leading L2 scaling solution on Ethereum. And this time, it's not going to be me who teach it, but it's going to be a new teacher, Alexandre which uh, used to be my students, find his first blockchain job and and really is super good. And it was so good that actually I wanted to hire him for uh, this live training. He's an expert in Polygon. And so I let me put the link for the second uh, live training for next week. So I'm super, super excited to start having some other teachers for the platform we interviewed so many different teachers really find the best for this live training and really uh, alexon really impressed me by by his capacity to explain things clearly uh, you can actually find a video of alexon uh, on my channel a couple of i think something like six months ago i interviewed him on my channel and so uh, if you want to see him talking uh, you can search on my channel, student find first blockchain job and you, you will find his video. Uh, so hi everybody in the chat. Who do we have here today? We have Dixon, we have George, we have Artemi, we have Dan, we have Siam Tada, Dunamis, THX, PLV, Nato, Dunkler. Wow, many people. Amazing. All right. So we're going to start with the market. So... We're going to start with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin big decrease this week. It was a terrible week, not only for Bitcoin, but for Ether as well. A really, really terrible week in crypto. It's uh, probably the worst week since one year or something like this. So why this happened? So, of course, we had a couple of tweets of Elon Musk that started this uh, whole crash. It was about one week ago. And then we had some additional negative news from China. So Beijing decided to basically ban crypto. So they banned banks and payment firms from providing services related to cryptocurrency. Um, they also said that they're going to crack down on Bitcoin mining and trading activity. It's not the first time that China said some really negative things about crypto. And after backtrack, so we don't really know if this is going to be long term or not. Um, but yeah, so that was a really, really terrible week for crypto. Um, however, not all is negative because, for example, in Russia, Russian officials said that they're considering a partial lift on the ban on crypto. So really, we, we don't really know where we're going in terms of regulation. Like one week we have bad news, one week we have a good news so i just think that either way the market is going to be uh it's going to overreact um so when it comes to the market cap of g5 well it was also a big crash because a lot of it is indexed on ethereum so here we went from almost 90 billion to 50 billion almost divided by half it's such a shame because we were about to break the 100 billion threshold but we totally missed it also the number of ether in the system decreased um so yeah it's really bad everywhere and when you look at the price of the DeFi token, uh, that's also a really terrible week. We almost have only red, so the token of uh, 
uh, the Venus protocol and the Binance Smart Chain, something bad happened. We'll talk about this later. Uh, really, a lot, a lot of really terrible performance. I think Uni also uh, was something like minus 50%. Sushi swap, like all the pancake swap, minus 50% almost. We have very, very few green token here. Yeah, I mean the best performance was 11%. Yeah, such a big joke. Uh, all right, so it is what it is. Um, you know, like. As a blockchain developer, you cannot really uh, overreact to this. Investors always uh, overreact, but us, you know, we we gotta uh, keep building. And actually, it's what I see on it the blocks because the past few days and uh, the past few days have been absolutely excellent for for the the sales of of my blockchain courses. And actually, this month is gonna be the best month ever for it the blocks. So that show you one thing. Traders might be selling, but builders keep building, keep learning. So don't be scared, guys. Um, you know, I haven't sold one way of Ether. I'm not going to sell anything. Uh, minus 50%, no problem. I'm still in. We are in a period of volatility. Uh, it is what it is, but it doesn't change anything about the long-term outlook of crypto. So if you're new to crypto, you got to be used to this. Really, don't, don't freak out. Um, then 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 so we're gonna talk uh give some news about some DeFi project now um so let's start with with uniswap i mean dexes in general so uh because of this crazy market volatility all the dexes on ethereum reached some record level volume uh we went above 10 billion when we combined all the trading volume so yeah, all the decks smash their record, uh, Uniswap, SushiSwap, uh, etc. Uh, then when, especially about Uniswap V3 that was just released a few weeks ago, it just flipped the trading volume on U, uh, compared to Uniswap V2. So that's for the daily trading volume and for the monthly trading volume, probably in a couple of weeks, it will flip Uniswap V2, so Uniswap V3 is more capital efficient, which means with less capital, trade liquidity providers can earn more trading fees. So logically, it should soon become the first DEX on Ethereum. Um, then some news for SushiSwap, which is the second largest DEX on Ethereum. Originally, that was a fork of Uniswap, but they started to add more and more custom feature and they are going to introduce a launchpad. So a launchpad allow project to easily launch their token on a decentralized exchange with a liquidity pool right away. So it's sort of like a token sale plus a listing, but in the same operation. And it is really becoming the standard way of launching your project. So with the launchpad, you will be able to configure different kind of token. So uh, you can choose uh, if it's a governance token, if it's just a, a standard yes 20 token, you have different choice. And when it comes also to the way you're going to sell, to distribute your token, you have different choice. So it can be a basic crowd sales, it's basically like an ICO, it can be a Dutch auction, uh, what they call a batch auction, so can be a little bit more sophisticated. So if you are a crypto builder and you're launching your token, why would you use a launchpad like this? Well, the big advantage is that you are going to leverage the use the huge user base of SushiSwap because each of these launch is going to be broadcasted in the community of SushiSwap. So it's going to help you a lot for marketing. Technically, it also helps you a lot because you're going to use uh, their smart contract that have been audited that are probably more safe than what you could uh, create build yourself so it's also going to help you a lot also a lot of the the logic the parameters they will suggest really make sense so it's a guarantee that you're not going to do a mistake however in terms of downside when you use a launchpad it means that you are going to be less free because you have to choose according to the the, the the options they give you. So this might not suit you. You also need to be approved by the their launchpad. So it's not as permissionless as if you, you were launching your token on your own. 
And for the first project launch on the launch pad, it's going to be a token called S uh, called Sake. So actually, this token is going to be super expensive. I think that one Sake is going to be something like two million dollars or something like this. Absolutely insane. So it's token with a very limited edition, and each token is redeemable against a bottle of Sake. So it better be super good because at two million dollar per bottle man like you, you better appreciate like each each micro uh it, it, each micro each moment really seriously <laughs> um and this is a project that is uh done by the team of uh, sushi swap themselves so they are dog fooding their own uh, launch pad um all right so then some news from polygon which is the leading l2 scaling solution for ethereum so polygon has a lot of traction their tokens went up like crazy of course with the crypto crash it went went down but now it's it's back up again um and so they already have 75,000 active users for the last seven days it's absolutely huge and the leading application on polygon is called quick swap and quick swap which is uh, basically a dex and the quick swaps also start to have some uh, significant traction so yeah it's really definitely a project that you have to keep your eye on because uh, a lot of what you see today on binance smart chain in the future it's going to go on polygon i can tell you that um then we're going to talk a little bit of Binance Smart Chain. So it was pretty bad week for Binance Smart Chain because they uh, saw a couple of attacks. So the first attack came on the Venus protocol. So Venus is a lending protocol on Binance Smart Chain. That's the biggest one. And it saw $200 million of uh, liquidation. But these weren't really normal liquidation. That's because a lot of this liquidation were triggered by a manipulation of price for the XVS token. XVS is the native governance token of the Venus protocol. And so the attacker manipulated this price by placing large order and trigger all this liquidation. It's unclear how they, they took advantage of this. But the fact is a lot of people lost money because when you are liquidated, part of your collateral is seized and auction. Uh, so I'm not sure what's the penalty for the Venus protocol. I know that on Compound is 5%. I guess it's similar on Venus. So yeah, for example, uh, if you borrowed for, I don't know, like $10,000 on Venus and you liquidated, well, you, uh, you lose 500 bucks. So it's not ideal. Um, then another bad news for Binance Smart Chain. There was a big attack uh, for the the bunny the bunny market uh the, the uh, let me i'm losing i'm losing track yeah so so it's basically uh the the bunny project was attacked by using a flash loan from pancake swap and so in the end uh so the price of the bunny token was manipulated and in the end the project lost 45 million dollar um so yes, yeah, one of the largest attack on Binance Smart Chain. Uh, okay, so next we're gonna continue with some news from for NFTs. So first of all, uh, there is this really nice dashboard for OpenSea where we can see the open volume of uh, OpenSea. So here we can see that uh, OpenSea now is trading almost above 100 million for the past few months. So it start to be quite uh, significant. Then you can see the comparison with Rarible, which is the, the number two NFT uh, marketplace. Really OpenSea is still way ahead. Uh, OpenSea was the first NFT marketplace. They recently uh, raised a ton of money. And even though we don't talk so much about them, but they actually are uh, the largest NFT marketplace and very important you have to check out their trading fee and so um, they've been making between 5 and 10 million of trading fee each month for the past few months so it's uh, clearly a project that uh, is making serious money uh, so these figures are very far away from what we can see on Uniswap but uh, this is already quite encouraging um, next some news from another NFT project called Uniquely. This is an NFT trading protocol. And so this allows you to have fractional ownership of NFT because the big problem of NFT is that 
you um, you have to buy a whole NFT and uh, and this can be extremely expensive but with Uniqlo you can buy just a fraction of an NFT and so they saw a huge increase in their user base of uh, 800% and that was largely due to a one of their project which is called the, the Jenny uh, yeah the Jenny DAO so in the Jenny DAO if you don't know you are not knowledgeable in NFT you just invest in a DAO and they're going to invest in a, a couple of uh, NFT projects so it's a very simple way to uh, to invest in uh, NFT um, next 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 still NFT so we saw the first sale of an NFT for a YouTube video that is called Charlie beat my finger so why why this YouTube video was so famous is because apparently that was the first viral video I released I think in, in 2014 um, and yeah so someone bought it for an NFT and as a result it will be removed uh, of the channel to make it more special so that actually give me some idea for the video of it the vlog hmm I'm kidding. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to remove any video. Um, yeah, okay. So that was it for the menus of this week. So next, we are going to do the QA. So, very briefly, let me remind you of two live trainings. So, next week, in one week, there's going to be a live training for developing blockchain application on Polygon, which is the leading L2 scaling solution on Ethereum. If you are a blockchain developer, you need to know how to develop some app on Polygon because this is the leading L2 scaling solution. This training will be done not by me, but by a teacher that uh, we hired. He is the, the first teacher we hire on Eat the Blocks. He used to be a student of Eat the Blocks. He is one of my best students. Uh, he found a job after following my course and, uh, and he's super good technically. He's, uh, he's really an expert on polygons. That's why we, we chose him. We we uh, we interviewed many teachers, and he was really the best for for this topic. So, if you guys are interested, I put the link uh, in the description in the the chat, and also have another training. Uh, okay, so actually, let me see uh, why. Okay, let me show you the other the other training. That's for tomorrow, the other training. If you want to create your own safe moon and create your own token on Binance Smart Chain, tomorrow at 11 p.m. UTC plus 8, uh, I'm gonna do this. So this is gonna be outside of YouTube. You need to uh, book your seat. And this one is gonna be with me. All right, so let me scroll up and see what kind of question we have. Uh, ch -ch -ch. So what do we have here? Um, what a crazy week, TP saying this. Um, na, na, na. For real, we'll come back even stronger. Yes, yes, yes. Dixon saying, Ether resisting like a king at 1,700. Yes. George, hi, Julian. Hi, everybody. Uh, na, na, na. Uh, George, I've lost $2,000 in the pancake swap bunny hack. I think that you're going to talk about that. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, man. You know what? Don't think about it. Think about all the money you're going to make in the future. Huh? <laughs> uh, all right, uh, abracadabra, viva la France! Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, Dan Beaton saying, make sure to book to book a spot in the Safe Moon next Safe Moon live training. Yes, yes, it's gonna be the, it's gonna be epic. Thank you. Uh, Siyama Tamda, hey Julian. Uh, Dunamis, peace everyone. TSX, hi Julian. Uh, PLV, hello guys. Nato saying you. You caused the flash loan, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 it's not me. Uh, Dunkler, what a week. Yes, yes. But you know what? Personally, I, I was ready for this. I, I knew this could happen at any time. So I, I wasn't like, yeah, I wasn't surprised. And uh, I'm not worried. Like for me, everything is fine. I, I slept perfectly fine. I I'm not worried at all. Uh, if the blocks is doing great. Like uh, For me, it doesn't change anything. Uh, but I mean, of course, I'm sorry for people who lost money, but you got to think long term. OK, if you invest in crypto, uh, if you if you decide to build your career on crypto, this is for long term, short term. Uh, no, you, you got to be ready to to take uh, to take these hits. Um, Vision Music. Hello, Julian. Where is the link for the live training tomorrow? OK, yeah, I just put it. Uh, I just copy pasted it. 
uh, in the chat below. Uh, Lucas, hello from USA. Hey, man. Um, Alper, hello from Istanbul, bro. Hey, man. Uh, Lucas, Jordan, Julian, have you considered creating grid trading bots? I'm not aware of uh, a grid trading bot, so you, you teach me something new. I need to do some research. Huh? Uh, Shiv, hi. Uh, JP, actual, how does one bridge ETH from the Binance Smart Chain to Polygon? Uh, I'm not sure to understand the question. I think you're asking me how the bridge works between Ethereum to or between Binance Smart Chain and Polygon. Uh, this, I don't know. But I in the training on Polygon next week, we're going to explain how the bridge works between Ethereum and Polygon. Um, Dunk the Lord say, China ban Bitcoin, I think you mean? China banned Bitcoin already two or three times? Yeah, it's not new, really. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Yeah, saying, saying, I think you need to check how Erosh works. Okay, I don't know this project. Uh, Christian, hi, everyone. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Why it's called Pancake Bunny, yeah. <laughs> MP, hello, Julian. TP, hello from TP, fifth star. Hey, man. Um, Constantin, hello, Julian. Is it the same price for every live training? Uh, for now, yes. For now, yes. Uh, we might do a subscription sometime in the future, but uh, at the beginning, at least, it's going to be sold individually and, um, and at the same price. Yeah. Um, Khalid, when I build my trading boat following your tutorials, but each time my boat execute, I get a sandwich attack by other boats and get a bad rate. Any way to avoid this? Uh, by the way, love your tutorial. Thanks, man. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Yeah, so you can put some uh, required statements where only your address can execute successfully the transaction. So uh, there are some boats that are smarter that can still figure it out, but it's going to be to it's going to improve the situation already. Uh, Kimberly, if I've purchased Lifetime in the Blocks membership, is the Safe Moon training still paid? No, so. Lifetime membership, uh, it includes all the live training. Uh, don't worry. BYS, can we pay in crypto for tomorrow course? Yes, yes, you can go in the FAQ and uh, it's explain how, how to do that. Uh, THX, what's the Dogecoin price today? I, I don't check Dogecoin. <laughs> BYS, and what time will be live in UK time, please? Um, I think you have to check, but uh, I think UK is a UTC plus one and me, I give my time in UTC plus eight. Um, yeah, so you have to remove seven hours. So if it's 11 p.m. UTC plus eight, uh, yeah, it's 11 minus uh, minus seven for for the UK, uh, which is um, which is four uh, which is 4 p.m. Yeah, 4 p.m. UK time. Um, Constantin, do you think this crash is the same which happened in 2017? Well, first of all, we need to wait a little bit to to see if it's uh, not a local crash and not a long-term crash. Because maybe now it looks like a crash, but maybe the ma market is going to bounce back. And in the future, it will just look as a, a blip on the chart. So we we don't know yet. We, we need to wait to really see if it's a, a big crash uh, or, or not. But uh, yeah, I mean, you guys got to be believer. You know, you got you to stay in it. Like even if, if it's, a big crash like the one in 2017 you got to understand that the guys who do really well during the next bubble they are the one who stay between cycles if you just like pop up when things are going up and then you leave right away you will never benefit from the next bubble like for example if the blocks totally exploded during this bull run it has been absolutely crazy it was multiplied by 10 uh, in terms of everything and the reason why um, we were able to do this is because I was already there during the previous cycle. Uh, I didn't just stop eat the blocks. In the meantime, I keep working on it. And so that's the same for your career as a blockchain developer. You want to keep working on it. But in any case, I, I think this time is different, even though we might have a crash, but there is still a lot of money that was invested in the space. And this money is not going to evaporate. Like now this money is in the treasury of many blockchain projects and they have to spend its money no matter what. So really, uh, I'm really not no rule with for, all the, for all the, the prospect of careers uh, in blockchain. Um, Ch -ch -ch Franco, hello from Argentina. Hey man, uh, Nato, uh, the guy who did the flash loan run from you, sir. Uh, I don't know about that. 
uh, Isaac Valadez, uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think of Definity and the internet computer? Uh, will you be looking into the custom smart contract language they created called Motoko? Uh, okay, I haven't followed much this project. Um, it seems a little bit too niche for now. Uh, maybe, maybe if it gets bigger in the future. But yeah, uh, Zach, do you have resources for the Python arbitrage bot? No, I do all my bots with Node.js. Um, yeah, no, I I don't. Uh, wait a second, wait a second. I no no no. I do have one bot in Python, so that's for to do some uh, sentiment analysis on um, on the subreddit of um, of Reddit uh, Wall Street bets. So I released this video a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So yeah, check search search a video for Wall Street bet sentiment analysis trading bot. You, you'll find my video. Um, Aman, live training can be done after the day of launch. I have semester exams right now. So um, after the date of the live training, the recording will be will be available on on the website of uh, Eat the Blocks. So you can watch the replay. It's just that you won't be able to ask questions live, but you can still watch the replay and you can still ask questions uh, in the chat because the uh, instructor will also provide support for two months uh, in the chat after. Uh, Shift Polygon or Ethereum network to make institutional level dApps. Um, yeah, it's gonna come soon. Uh, Anansi Yamba, I almost finalized my personal project. Can I send you a video with a quick demo? I would really like to have your feedback. Um, okay, so actually receive a very large number of emails. So if you guys have questions about your, your own project or about the YouTube video, unfortunately, I, I can't really uh, provide support for this. But what you can do is you can ask your question in the Facebook group of Eat the Blocks, and the Facebook group has grown a lot, uh, and now it's pretty, it's pretty active. And when you take one of my courses, you also have access to the private Discord, uh, which is even more active, and the discussion are super, super high quality. Um, na, 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 uh, what else do we have? Uh, Christian, do you plan to use Avalanche C-Chain for course or demo coding? Uh, Avalanche? Um, Maybe if there is enough demand. So we're gonna keep doing this live training hopefully every week with a, a new topic. And so yeah, if we find some good instructor for Avalanche and we have um, enough uh, um, demand for that, we might do it, yeah. Uh, Andrej Petrovic, maybe burner exposure learn flash loan from you. Uh, <laughs> and be wise, perfect, thanks Julian. I will send you some crypto for tomorrow course. Will you send, use your Discord or Telegram once we pay? Uh, yeah, so so you will have you will have access to yeah I will put the link to uh, to the the Discord uh, once so uh, in the course yeah uh, uh, she for the Polygon training tomorrow can a noob attend it with no prior knowledge uh, it, mm, it's gonna be tough because we uh, oh no no okay okay so first of all there is a there's a confusion. So Polygon is not the training of tomorrow. Tomorrow it's going to be Safe Moon. Polygon is in one week. Uh, and Polygon is not really a training for beginner because uh, we're not going to teach everything from the beginning. You need to already know the basics of uh, blockchain development. So uh, Solidity smart contract, how to create a dApp, uh, etc. So yeah, I, I don't think it's really suited if, you, if you're a beginner. I start with my playlist on Solidity on my channel. Um, yeah, start to exercise yourself, and and uh, and after in the future you can you can still buy the training, but just uh, you won't be able to uh, have the live. You you'll have the replay, but it still be very valid. Uh, Ask me what do you think about Phantom Opera? Um, yeah, they're making more noise. That's for sure. Uh, interesting. Uh, I'm I'm just uh, I haven't really looked at it uh, more closely, but yeah, I know that. Um, they, they start to have some traction. Um, Exalate, will you teach people how to make a coin on the Ethereum blockchain? So the training of tomorrow, it's for creating a coin on Binance Smart Chain by forking SafeMoon, but everything I teach in this live training is also uh, applicable to Ethereum because Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain are the, the same technology. Um, no, 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 uh, Constantin, thanks for your answer. How can we purchase the lifetime membership? Ah, okay, so. Unfortunately, the lifetime uh, membership is uh, 
it was only available for special occasion um, like the like Black Friday last year. So most likely it will only be available for uh, this Black Friday uh, this year um, in, in November, but uh, not uh, in the meantime, unfortunately. Uh, Promise uh, IAWA between Finance and Tron, which is the best platform to build a blockchain programming now. Uh, Binance Smart Chain because Tron is kind of dead now. Um, blockchain that I don't have money to join this course, but I want to learn. Yeah, I mean, you know, I have more than 400 videos on my YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, I mean, just start with my free videos and you can already learn a lot. Um, Isaac Valades, the ICP token is number 10 on CoinMarketCap and it stands for Internet Computer Protocol. It's one of the largest projects of its kind in crypto. I recommend you look into it. They launched their mainnet. Cool, cool. Yeah, I've, I've seen this token pop up on my feed, but uh, yeah, I need to do some research. Uh, THX, what's the best way to report a scam token? Uh, I mean, there is no central authority to, um, to manage scam. It's more... Uh, Twitter, for example, if you if you have bad things to say about a token, um, yeah, Twitter. Uh, maybe you can you can also uh, say at you can say uh, add a, add mention to some uh, decks like a uh, Uniswap and P PancakeSwap. Maybe they have a security team to 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 put this in a, in a scam list. But um, uh, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, other than that, it, it's, it's a little bit difficult. Um, and then uh. Aman Kuma, can you do a front running boat? Uh, front running boat, uh, maybe, but it's not easy to do because you need to uh, look in the transaction pool of a, a node. So it's quite technical. It's quite technical. Um, Isaac Valades, they have live demo of DAP running at web speed right now and more blocks than Ether already, um, which you are talking of the, the ICP protocol. Uh, I presume, uh, Jergu, you took a little, you look a little like Tom Kavanaugh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I take it as a compliment, I guess. <laughs> uh, Jack Breeding, hi Julian, what's your take on Pulse Chain, ETH fork? I don't know. I need to check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I spent so much time preparing this live stream and, and then there are always all these projects that I don't know about. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the crazy thing in crypto, like you... You you always miss a lot of news, but but that's okay. Uh, as long as you focus on the, the news for the main chain, it's the most important. Uh, Exalate, how much liquidity should we add to the, a token, and can we can we take the liquidity out of this pro if the project fails? So, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's really up to you. You you decide this. Can be tens of thousands of dollars, but you have to you have to 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 uh, think of, of the fact that when you add liquidity, or you also have to provide the um, uh, yeah, two token, the token itself, and also another token like a BNB or uh, some stable coins or something that you cannot mint yourself. So you need to have enough money to buy these as well. So you, you're limited by this. Uh, can, yeah, well, you can take the liquidity out if the project fails, but be careful because this is, uh, if you do this too fast, this is called a, a rug pull. So careful with this. Uh, Abracadabra says scam token you can report at token uh, sniffer how oh, interesting uh, Pierre but do you think there are any future for Tron no I don't think so I think that was just a marketing stunt uh, just in Tron yeah great marketer but yeah apart from that I they really have nothing uh, Binance Smart Chain you can say that they are centralized so it's bad but at least they they work. Uh, they they leverage the the user base of uh, the the Binance exchange, which uh, which has a, a strong strategy. So they, they really have uh, something that differentiate that differentiate them. Uh, but Fortran is just a copy and paste of Ethereum, and, and that's it really. Um, Block Tech Dev, do you have Telegram for free learn? Uh, so we have a private Discord for the students of the paid courses. But for everybody, there is also a public community. That's the Facebook group. And you'll find the link in the header of the channel. Be wise. Final question for you, Boss Julian. <laughs> Thanks, man. What video of yours would you recommend to watch in preparation for tomorrow? And will you provide us link to specific videos, please? Yeah, so I actually mentioned all of this uh, on the sales page of the live training. So uh, you can access, you can check this out you will find all the link but very quickly i have a series on solidity so check that one i have a video how ethereum work 
uh, check also that one. Uh, I also have a video on ES20 token. Uh, yeah, so these three videos are the main one. Uh, Dixon, hey Julian, could you please do a video on using Chainlink Oracle? It's very underdocumented, especially when you want to make your own Oracle adapter. So this typically might be available uh, as a, a live training. Um, Yes, uh, but very good suggestion. Uh, Jack Deep, can we make limit orders on PancakeSwap? Um, not directly, but you can build something that will allow you to do it. Uh, I might do a video on that, yeah. Um, THX, uh, oh, what's token sniper? Okay, question. Uh, Mersona, a video about mempool will be great. Haha, <laughs> difficult is where we learn. Yeah, uh, actually, this is a kind of super technical stuff that could be a life training. Yeah, maybe I'll have training with this. Um, no, no, no. Ayo Deji, when China wants to load their bags, they remind us of the ban. Yes, exactly. Uh, Alper, you German or French? Uh, I'm the country of uh, good food. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, my German friend, but yeah, you know, French French people, we, we're very proud of our food. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Constantin, do you know how many people should be involved in a blockchain project? Dex token liquidity pool creation. Uh, sorry if that question sounds silly. No, it's not. Um, I mean, you can just start on your own and you you do as much as you can and and you you talk about your project and uh, and then you you try to have other people who join to who can help you. Um, there is no exact answer for this question, but typically teams of software developer they are between a couple to maybe. 10, 20 developers who work together is already a, a big team, but I would say a couple of developers already, you, you can be uh, quite efficient. Because you, know, you see, the more people you have in your team, the more you have to communicate with them, and then it becomes really uh, difficult. The communication doesn't scale well with the number of developers in your team. Um, block, share, block tech dev, can you make a video to explain APY in the DeFi liquidity pool work? So, I have a video on YouTube to explain how to calculate APY. Uh, you can check this. Jack Deep, what's your review on Solana blockchain? Uh, I think I checked very quickly. It seems they have smart contract in Rust and yeah, it just seems more complicated than Ethereum. This is all I can say for now. Uh, so this is really going to slow down the adoption. Uh, yeah, every time you see one of these blockchain that maybe is like, Maybe more powerful than Ethereum, but but, but the the blockchain tools are also more harder. Don't use a simple language similar to JavaScript every time you see this. That means the adoption is going to be more limited. Clearly, um, ch -ch -ch. Mers uh, Mersona, how would you proceed to execute pre-order transaction on chain like limit orders? Do you have any advice? Uh, pre-order. You might want to have a look at the, oh, what's the, oh, I have a blank here. W what is this project that that has been used since a couple of months and that reduced the transaction fee on, on Ethereum? Um, sorry, man, I'm, I have a blank, but, uh, oh, Flashbot. Yeah, so you probably can do this with Flashbot. Uh, yeah, so do, do research on Flashbot. Um, Andrew... Nice Zimco, any opinion why BNB jumping for almost 40% in a day? Did I miss any news? I just think you're going to see a lot of coin jumping back up because the the crash of the past few days have been really excessive. So it's it's basically like the huge the uh the huge uh, GDP growth that we have in 2021 is just a mechanical uh GDP growth after the the big crash we had in 2020. So yeah, just just a mechanical increase, I would say. Uh, na, 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 uh, where then 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 um, uh, res are there still opportunities to make money with flash loan? So there is never a moment in time where you don't have opportunities anymore. It's just that actors becomes more and more sophisticated and becomes more and more uh, competitive, but people still make money with flash loans, of course. Um, what is saying French food is the best? Yes, yes, exactly. That was the smartest comment of today. <laughs> uh, uh Okay, so I'm going to translate in English. So, um, do you 
do you explain the whole process for the coin liquidity lock ownership renounce etc in the the course so i'm going to uh liquidity lock i haven't thought about this especially but um uh, i can i can maybe add it uh, renounce renounce ownership um so yeah i can uh, yeah, yeah, I can. I mean, I haven't planned it now, but probably this can be part of the Q and A section. Yeah, um, it's hard to interact with contracts on Solana. I, I, why saying this? Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, Jake breeding. Ethereum has a network effect. There is no ETH killing anymore. Yes, um, I, why saying flashbots? Yes, flashbot. Um, Pultis Gist. Is it worthwhile to learn how to use Geth if I'll be building dApps? If you're just getting started, I would say don't bother with this. Um, you know, when you're developing dApps every day, you just use uh, Truffle and Ganache. Uh, very few people use Geth directly. Uh, you would use Geth if you want to do some um, advanced stuff like, like access the mempool or maybe working on a, a sort of private test net, but for most use case, you don't need it. So yeah, I would say, yeah, don't forget about guests at the beginning. Uh, I, why, Julian, are you the one behind this flash on the tax? Uh, yes, but uh, please uh, keep it a secret. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Uh, Piotr Z, hi, Julian. Hey, man, Abracadabra. See you next time, guys. I'm driving. Yeah, great to have you, Abracadabra. Jake Breeding, Julian, your face is out of frame. Oh, man, I... Yeah, at some point, I'm going to improve my setup uh, to have like a bigger face. Uh, uh, Abracadabra, viva la France. Yes, thanks, man. Young Michael, Metamoon is great project. Go, go, go. Okay, I don't know that. Uh, as it is, thanks. Uh, your video are very helpful. Okay, great. Well, guys, I think we're reaching the end of this live stream. Um, so what we're going to do now is just going to quickly copy paste the link for the training uh, of tomorrow um, so if you want to learn how to create your own safe moon and lastly if you want to develop dApps on Polygon there is another upcoming live training next week I also put the link in the description okay thanks guys have a great